<laughs> Hello everyone. This is Moses from Out There Gardens. Um, I did a previous video on uh, my fig trees on when to know the when the fruit is ripe. <clears throat> or when the fruits are ripe. And this video is going to be about another question I get a lot of. What does it mean by uh, figs that bear twice a year, bear fruit twice a year? Now obviously the commenters know, or the people on my website when they ask me in my Contact Us page, um, obviously they know that that means it's twice a year, but they don't know how that happens, or is it a fruit set that gets ripe in the spring and summer, and you eat, and then another fruit set comes early fall and ready early winter or late fall. No, well, in my experience with the three fig trees I have, this one being a Kadota, um, you see right here, some almost ready. All figs come on, all figs. And half of them ripen now, which you can see there, and I've already eaten a whole bunch off of this limb. And there's one that's almost ready, another one right over there. And the rest are ready later on. You can see a lot of them. It bears more in the fall than the spring, and the fall tastes better than the spring fig. Usually with the spring fig on this variety, Kadota, uh, the spring one, like let's say like this, the spring or su early summer figs, they're not as tasty, they're still good, don't get me wrong. But they're not as tasty and they don't have that color, the honey color in them when you open them up. Um, as much as these will later on in the year. At least that's for this variety. But you can see how much is going to pr be produced. And I'll take you over to the celestial figs right now. Okay, so this is the dwarf sugar fig or the celestial fig. Uh, very productive for such a small tree. Uh, it only gets five to six feet tall. That's it, max. You see all the bright peaches right over there. I got to figure out a way how to make those. I can't eat them all and they're ripe. But anyways, so this fig tree tends to ripen all at once and it happens around, in my area, Zone 9B, Central California, it happens around middle of July, end of July. At least it has been for the past five years on this tree. Um, but it's an extremely high producer. It's the one that's a purple fig. These will all turn purple. Uh, it will taste exactly like honey, hence the name sugar fig. Uh, why this is referred to one of the trees that are referred to as sugar fig, but um, but this produces one shot, so does the Ville de Bordeaux that I have in the front. That's one time, uh, fall in the fall, late summer, early fall. But the Kadota does twice, as you saw right there, where there's some that are little and some that are ripe right now. So, if you want a fig tree that does that, a Kadota is a great option, right back over there. Sorry, it's like a forest. And if you want all at once, celestial. I'll tell you one thing though, before I end the video, that animals attack this, squirrels and birds and such, r rather than going for the Kadota, which is interesting. I don't know why, I just thought about that when I heard squirrels and birds and worried, oh my God, I better get those figs. I don't have to because every year they don't touch that Kadota, but they touch the celestial. Maybe this is a purple color. It's very beautiful purple like Purple like that, my dog's ball right there that he's playing with and crushed. That's how purple, even darker than that. Beautiful fig tree. But if any more questions, let me know. There's a few more I gotta do because there's got a lot of questions on the on the fig trees. So, anyways, happy gardening everyone. Bye.